Raise your hand if you've had a day off in the last 12 days. <laughs> Nobody from this office. So we're on day 12 of 13 in a row. Today is Friday, August something. This is that stretch. So back, you know, school started Monday. Um, first week of school went really well. We had a bunch of service stuff coming in. And that's really what I've been working on the last few days is I've been out there in the service department with the guys actually grabbing tutors, throwing them up on lifts and servicing to myself. When I say that we're hustling to get service done, we are hustling to get service done. I actually feel really good about where we we're at in terms of service. I'd say we're closer to a two week wait than a four week wait, which is what we were on this time last year. And that's just because we have some, we have a couple guys who are really, really good. I mean, in terms of speed um, and Brad, and myself have actually been jumping on scooters as well so we've had a couple extra hands and we've been working some late nights so <laughs> it's it's nice to, to not be so far behind in terms of service because every every single scooter that is coming in has the same thing my scooter sat all summer now it's not running but I feel really good about where we're at right now there has been just a lot of funk and gunk going around the shop. You can probably hear I'm a little nasally and I, I just, I feel terrible. So we're trying to muscle through and just get to Sunday where everybody can have a day off and just sleep and rest and medicate. Um, so we can do it all again next week. <laughs> <laughs> but at least there's like a holiday weekend coming up. Right. And football starts, which just makes everything way better. Florida Gators will be playing in Michigan that first weekend in Dallas. So we got a great football game to start off the season and um, and then we have a whole bunch of home games which will be great for the dealership our dealership does really well when there's home games that are at night so I kind of always keep my fingers crossed for those two things today I'm probably just gonna be doing much more of the same thing I've been doing this week a lot more service and and I'm sure we'll get some a good handful of scooter sales coming through as we get to the weekend it's slowed down midweek um, but We've consistently been getting a good handful of scooter sales each day, so we'll get to it. Let's go. That's what I love about the leadership around here. Like, Mike, Brad, myself, like, we're willing, we're willing to like, do an oil change when it's, when it's necessary for us to step into place and into action and do these types of things. We will. We have other things on our, to do list but we've talked about all the time just kind of like reprioritizing like the priority right now is service man we have lots of people dropping off for basic services like this just like all I'm doing is an oil change we're asking customers politely if they'll like drop it off and leave it with us versus waiting on it which I think our location allows us that flexibility because a lot of we're only we're less than a half mile to campus, so somebody can drop their scooter off for an oil change, go to class, come back and pick it up later. It really helps us out because we just get so much service dropped off all at the same time. We've really been like limiting the number of like walk-ins, which has helped a little bit. So once we do a certain amount today, we'll say, okay, we'll start doing more tomorrow. You can leave it overnight and we'll start it first thing in the morning, which has also helps because it just makes sure that helps us make sure that we're getting to the other ones that are in for service that Dante had to go out and pick up and that sort of thing. So it's been a good good system so far. But it's great seeing you know Mike doing one, seeing Brad do one. And then of course all of our other mechanics who are always doing them. But this right here is one less oil change that they have to do now. So anytime we do a, an oil change or a basic service, any service that comes in here, we're always in tire, tire pressure. One of the uh, common things, especially as we get close to winter, people will come in and they'll say, ah, oh, my scooter used to do 35 to 40, but now it's only doing 15 miles an hour. I don't understand why. First thing we do is check the tire pressure. And usually it's super low, like 10 pounds of pressure like this one. So before I send it out the door, <coughs> I'm always doing a last check to see what else the scooter might need. See left brake sits over, so I pull the left brake handle. Does it when I pull the right. So her right brake switch is busted. So what I'm doing is I'm just making a couple more recommendations on here. I'll get to the service rider, they'll call the customer and see if they want to get that work done. 
some other things like this, like sight glass being busted. I'm nowhere near gonna put my finger on that because that's so close to being broken. That, and if that fluid comes out, she's gonna lose all front brake together. Low beam is out. You see how headlight, there's only like a little running light in there. Then when I flip the high beam, the high beam comes on. But her low beam headlight is out. We also keep track of all the scooter information on here. So VIN number, make, model, year, color, and so forth. See, she had an old plate, so I just updated her tag. They'll update her tag in our profile because she used to have an under 21 tag on there. Now she's got a normal tag. Just keeping accurate records throughout the process. Our guys are normally really good about like seeing, seeing stuff like this. Yeah. And just going ahead and like reattaching it for the customer. I try to get I try to get my team to pay attention to those details. I definitely do. Now that I've seen it, I'm gonna fix it. Obviously, sometimes when you're doing a ton of service and you're going a million miles an hour, those, those are easy things to miss. And so many other shops say, oh, it's not my job, I'm not getting paid to do that. I classify that under the little UCE category, you know, providing the ultimate customer experience. Someone comes down with a license plate hanging down, let's fix it for them. All right, fellas, we have like four or five scooter sales happening all at once. Just okay. so y'all know. We got one getting ready to test drive. You have one? Yep. Which one are you doing? Which one? Red one. Red RX50? Yep. Uh, so we have Red RX50, we got these two. That's it for now. Right. Thank you, man. Hey, dude, if you need anything, just yeah, let us know. We'll be in touch as soon as that part comes in, okay? Oh, uh, you want this balloon? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> nice, Recycle, reuse. Yeah, exactly. You mean you don't want to drive down the street with it, blowing behind yeah. you, dude? Let everybody know you just got a new scooter? <laughs> hey, so man, much. thanks so much. Enjoy it. The last, like, 10 minutes of this heat. Final count so you can add it. 12, do do eight, another 12, scooter yeah. stamp because I think it was 12. somewhere. No, nah, it was more than that. It's been about more 10 than that, really? Yeah, I feel like it was about 15 or so. Okay. Oh. I don't know, maybe 14 scooters. Anyway, we had a good day. Um, it definitely picked up probably around 2 o'clock. We started getting busy. We have a lot of service going on. These guys have been busting out service all day long. Yeah, yeah, we have. And because we sold so many scooters, um, we're, well, and we know from, from history that. Saturday tomorrow is also another busy day um, so we're trying to make sure that we have plenty of inventory are already assembled so people don't have to like place deposits and come back so we're getting these ready we'll fill up the showroom so the showroom's full and then have some extras in the warehouse here so we can just grab them and go and keep selling tomorrow's day 13 in a row for for me anyway and for so, so a few others as well as much as I'm looking forward to tomorrow being another full day of sales I'm really looking forward to Sunday and getting some sleep so uh, the, I've definitely caught whatever's been floating around the shop and a little under the weather today. Hopefully you can't tell. <laughs> and uh, that's it, man. <laughs> so thanks for watching this episode. Everybody say bye. Bye, everybody. See ya.